right, welcome to another episode of Inspiring Youth. I'm your host, Bruce Outridge, and today we are going to talk careers. We have Hayek with us, and uh, they're Halton Industry Educational Council. Boy, I had to do that so bad. <laughs> but uh, we're going to talk today uh, about what they do and how they help young people in careers. But first, we're going to talk to Megan Ouellette. I got it right this time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Megan's a summer student with uh, Hayek, and uh, we're going to get into what you do. So uh, tell us, welcome to the show, first of all. Thank you. And uh, tell us, what are you doing with Hayek? What, what is your job this summer? Yeah, so I'm their career center assistant. So basically over the summer, so my job is to reorganize the career center for the, the senior elementary students that are going to be coming in next year. So I'm just organizing it, getting it down to pat. And um, I also work for, I do a little bit with their social media marketing. Okay. Yeah, so I work with their social media marketing, you know, posting stuff, getting people excited, getting people to come into the Career Center, and, you know, letting them know that they're always welcome to come in. Right, and how did you, how did you hear about Hike? Did they come to your school back when you were in school, or how does this work? Yeah, so I actually have a long background with Hayek. Okay. So I came to Hayek when I was in grade 8 for the grade 8 awareness okay. program. So I looked into careers, and I looked through all the binders when I, back when I was in grade 8. And then my sister worked here as well, so my sister was also a Career Center assistant. Right. And I attended WAC, so I attended uh, Women as Career Coaches when I was in grade 11, and I just had the best experience there. I loved it. And then, yeah, and then next thing you know, I'm working here as well. So. Oh, good, yeah. good. So it's like a family career path, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so is this, uh, uh, what's your background? Did you uh, did you want to get into marketing? You're doing marketing for them yes. now, right? So is yes. that what you wanted to do, or did the career? Yeah, so um, I always kind of had a, had an interest in marketing. I kind of, I didn't really know until, um, Take Your Kid to Work Day, I went with my mom's cousin, and she's in marketing. That's kind of when I realized that I really love marketing. And then even when I went to Women as Career Coaches, I talked to someone as well at, at Women as Career Coaches, and she was in marketing. So it kind of just steered me in that direction. And so yeah, so now I attend the University of Guelph, and I'm taking marketing there, and I'm just kind of getting started. So you think that's going to be the chosen path? Yeah, you don't have to. I, you don't have to commit. Just because I said it on yeah. the show, I, I almost had I almost had David Vandenberg uh, on one of the shows. I said you're going to be a politician. Like I almost committed him to a political career. So so you like marketing, and marketing is yeah. important. It's important no matter what you do exactly. as a career. So it's yeah. great. So did you find that the um, the career center helped guide you in that way, or did some did you like did you know you wanted to get into marketing when you first went in there? Probably not at grade eight, right? They don't even know what marketing is. Half no, at so. grade eight, my <laughs> yeah, my my path changed incredibly from grade eight. Like grade eight, I was focused on being a teacher, I think. Okay. And now I'm just <laughs> yeah not that anymore. Right. So yeah, my career path totally changed. I took some business courses in high school, and then okay. like I said, when I attended women as career coaches, I kind of realized like. I didn't have to choose exactly what I wanted to do yet. I could just, I, it doesn't have to be a straight linear path. I right. could just choose. So I just kind of chose uh, marketing for now. Or I like the business field. So even yeah. if I brought off or branch off into different sectors, right. but for now I'd say marketing is my favorite. So. All right, well, let's take a look at what they do at Hayek over there. I think we got a, a, a clip to roll, so yeah. go ahead. All right, welcome to another episode of Inspiring Youth. We are here at the Hayek. Center, which is Halton Industry Industry Education Council. You guys got to get a shorter name. We have the program <laughs> coordinator Sarah Barber with us. Thank you, and uh, we have Megan Ouellette, Right? Yes. Did I say it right? Ouellette? Yes, okay, yeah. good, good. And you are a summer student. Yes, so I'm a career center assistant. So okay. I help with the career center here and organizing it and getting it ready for all the grade eight students for next year. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we are in Hayek's building here, and uh, we're going to talk about the great things you guys do. We'll start with you, Sarah. Give us a uh, but. Uh, an overview, I guess, of what you guys do. Absolutely. So, um, hey, welcome back to the show. So, we have some very special guests. We have Sarah Barber, who's the program instructor at Hayek. Welcome to the show, Sarah. And we also have Kelly Hoey, who is the executive director. Welcome to the show. So, we're excited to have you guys on. You, you are the inspiration. Just so you know. And uh, David Vandenberg was on my very first show. And we talked at length about Hayek and how we all connected at the men and career coaches and the women and career coaches at events. So how long how long has Hayek been around? Hayek is going into his 28th year this wow. November. So I we found have, out about you in March. Yeah, we're glad you did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we've been around for 28 years. Okay. We started really started as an industry education council. It was a committee. Right. It was a joint venture between the public board of ed, the Catholic board of okay. ed, Sheridan College, and um, 20 different partners, industry right. partners in the region who really wanted industry and education right. to work together and, and figure out how to support young people as they made 
career decisions. Yeah. And so 28 years later, it's more than a committee. Oh, wow. And Sarah, what's your role? You're the program instructor. So what does the program instructor do? Awesome. So I actually have the opportunity to work with all the senior elementary uh, students in the, as they come to Hayek for the Career Awareness Program. So it's just under 7,000 folks that come through the doors. Wow. And you remember fun. all their names? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, the real priority of my role. So working with them and having the opportunity to expose them to all sorts of different opportunities and give them the time and expertise to wow. explore. Wow. We'll get back to what you do. And what does the executive director do for Hayek? You just make sure that everybody goes through, all 7,000 get through, That's Sarah? Right. More <laughs> career decisions for everyone. Well, I think that the role has always been to nurture the partnerships that right. we have, to connect with the industry and education, to take some of those great ideas, those grassroots ideas that are in our community, like men as career coaches, yes. women as career coaches, and sort of put them in the continuum of, of places where we meet up, might meet up with young people right. and help them know their resources and supports out there whenever they're ready or they need them. Yeah, you guys do such a great job. I'm, uh, um, what I'm wondering is how are you different than the career, you know when you hear career counseling at school? Well, we all go, yeah, right, the fireman's going to come in or something. That's fun. But how, how are you guys different? Because they're already getting that in school. So what do you guys do at the next level? Doesn't matter. Whoever wants to, whoever is more more in tune with that. Let, let's go with the executive yes, director. Can start. She should yes. know. She should know this answer. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. Well, I really do think that there is a lot of support that's needed yes. along the way, and, and I think that one of the things that we've always worked to to and strived for is to support because education can't do the job alone. Yeah. Kids can't be academically prepared and work ready and have the the career and life counseling that they need along the way. It's, it's a big task for our educators. So we want to support them. Yeah. Um, and, and how do we work with those folks? In any way we can. And our motto's always been, how can we help you? So if we can help make the connection to extend the learning beyond the school um, and into the community, and we can bring industry into the schools or in connection with young people in any ways, then it, it's just a springboard um, to the next the next level. Right. I mean, Sarah and I, we talk a lot about the fact that we, we believe we're teaching uncertainty. Yeah. So I'll let you talk a little bit yeah, about that. Yeah, that's what you're teaching for sure. Uncertainty yeah. is what life is, right? So so now uh, we're going to go to a clip in a minute, but uh, how do you find connecting with the young people that, that come through? Because you connect with all 7,000 and they don't all connect the same way, right? right. So how, what are some of the ways that you're able to connect with them? Absolutely. So uh, the Career Awareness Program does come in grade seven this year, which is really exciting. Uh, and it's actually an opportunity for them to explore. So it's really it's quite engaging because it's all self-directed. Yeah. So it's an opportunity for us to first introduce them to uh, kind of how to properly research different occupations right. and look into the profiles and things like that. But once they have the opportunity, they're ready to go. So it's really just jumping off of any interests that they do have uh, and then kind of moving forward from there. Okay.